the air and you're open, what's going through your mind is uh, getting ready to pull in the first touchdown of the season? Uh, I've been working for this, bro. I've just been on them jugs every day. Uh, when the ball in the air, I just had to go get it. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to my old line, blocking, Emory, making it happen. Feel me? It's a team effort. Was there a second right before you caught it where you thought it was going to be a little long? Because it looked like you maybe kicked an extra it was, gear. It was no doubt in my mind. I just had to go get it. <laughs> first one in the nip, yeah, I had to go get that one. Uh, Save yourself to your first game in the Bearcats. So what was it like for you to experience the different day the first time? It was a great experience. Um, it was The student section was really loud. I got to see my parents right behind me. Uh, they brought it in. They sold out the stadium. It was, it was, it was a good experience. Can't wait to do it again. Corey's second career 100 yard game, first game in this system, this new scheme, new offensive line, everything kind of gelled all together against EKU today. What really worked for you? What was kind of, what were you seeing out there vision wise with those holes that were opening up, and especially that 54 yards game? Yeah, like you mentioned, the holes were opening up. The whole line was doing their thing, receivers were blocking it in, the coaches had faith in me to put the ball in my hands. So it all, it all started up front though. Six different receivers caught touchdowns today. Xavier, what was working for you guys on the offense then, really, uh, with Emory able to spread the ball around, get everyone involved? Yeah, he did. He, I had to call him the lunch lady today. Yeah, he was <laughs> eating everybody today. <laughs> but yeah, it was, um, it's good to see all those guys get in the box and get some touches. Um, even having in his, his transition into from quarterback to receiver, it was just it's, it's good, good experience, good first game, and we got a lot to work on. Xavier, you had 136 receiving yards with 8.53 left in the first half, which was a career high for you. When did you know today was going to be a special day? I woke up listening to Jehovah. <laughs> 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 no, I was just playing. Uh, I knew it was going to be a special day because uh, it's, it's a lot of love going on in this building. Uh, it's a different, different type of... It's a different type of uh, feeling you get when everybody loves the game and everybody wants you to succeed. Everybody around you, coaches, staff, the nutritionists, down to the walk-ons, everybody wants you to be great. So everybody's pushing towards that win. So when we all have a common goal, it, it all feels good. It all um, keeps rolling, you know what I'm saying? Corey, you uh, told me a couple weeks ago that being a guy who transferred here, and you know what that's kind of like. What kind of what was your message? You talked to any of the transfers who this was their first game at NIP going into this game? Oh yeah, uh, they all the transfers know we real close because uh, I know how it feels to be the new guy on the block. So I just welcomed them up uh, with open arms, and then like I just was telling them like it, it's nothing like Nipper. Like I've played in some big stadiums, but Nipper is probably the best the best that I'm ever going to see. Xavier, you have the three days for like you with Emory at Florida. How much does that relationship help with this transition to Cincinnati? Um, it helped. It helped a lot. Um, I was just actually talking to my mom and his mom uh, up there in the stadium before I came in, and yeah, he just kind of helped me with open, like how you said they they welcomed the transfers with open arms, and uh, he was kind of my host on my visit, um, telling me the ropes and how how they do things here, how they operate here, and and that that he think I'd be a great fit. As you can see, I, it was. <laughs> for both Corey and Xavier, there's always that concern of first game jitters, but for the offense to start as well, because I think you guys were perfect in terms of drive resulting in touchdowns in the first half. What allowed that to be uh, come to fruition and uh, not have those first game jitters be an issue for you guys? Uh, I believe we didn't have first game jitters because we uh, did so well preparing. Uh, throughout the summer, on the weekend, on the Saturday, Sundays, we was waking up in the morning, coming out here, catching balls from Emory, and doing our working on working out on our own, so we prepared well enough so to not be nervous. Yeah, like you said, we prepared well enough, and uh, and like I said before, like we all have a common goal, so everybody was locked in, and everybody just just knew we had to get that ball rolling. We watched a lot of a lot of the uh, games going on during the week, and seen a lot of uh, like small mistakes that come with them first game. Just as you said, and we just um, they was kind of preaching that. Just, just make the routine plays, and everything's gonna fall into place. Any more questions, Corey? You, uh, you got 13 carries today. Does that kind of feel like a nice diet in this offense, in this running back room, where you guys can all kind of stay fresh, and you can still hit your kind of peak 
peak output in a game while staying fresh out there and able to play? If you had to, play full 60 minutes of that. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, to uh, take out many carries they gave me, I ain't gonna lie. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, they, it, st it all started up front, too. I, I wouldn't have got that 100 without the O-line. Like, I, I could have did it 20 carries, 10 carries, whatever. The O-line got it for me, so. Appreciate y'all. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.